Good. So that this one now should be better than last one and you will not laugh. I hope. <laughs> Please remember we say, I hope so. You must put so. Je l'espère. I hope ah, so. Okay. I hope so. I hope so. Good. So, begin. Uh, how was your week? Uh, I can say that my week was uh, good. Okay. But uh, very tiring. Why? What did you do Monday to till today? Monday to, to Wednesday. Yes. I had meeting of of group of group mm -hmm. of women women. Okay. Women's platform in Jason Sahel. Okay, G five Sahel. G five Sahel. Sorry. Mm -hmm. They. They have a meeting with Department of Governance. Okay. And I I worked with uh, with her with them. Okay. Yeah. So let us let us finish with that meeting. Is it a meeting of all the women in those countries, or yes, who are the who? Uh, uh, members of that just just, just the the co co coordinators of a group of women in each country okay it was uh, because 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 no no because it it was sete yes it was it was six six women who is coming from Chad, um, Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger, and the two two of them, two of them are from Mauritania. Okay. So look at it. It was made up of six women. Please, uh, sorry. Can you see the chat window? Not yet. Let me. In the. Okay. Well, I have spent. I hope so. No, no. It was made up of six women from. Okay. Man means this. It was made up. It was made up of six of, women. Such as now. Two. Okay. Made up of six women. Six women from Chad, Niger, Mauritania, um, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Mauritania. What Mauritania, about Senegal? No. It's it was made up of women just uh, of uh, g5 this time it was no that's discrimination no <laughs> how can you leave senegal out meeting for our project so senegal is not involved in that project senegal is in our project but mm -hmm. not in g5 sahel Wow, this is interesting. So the G5 Sahel is made up of five countries without five Senegal. Countries. Yes. And then now, why did you bring Senegal in? Because Senegal, uh, Senegal also had a, a same a common problems like uh, the five other the five other countries. Okay, so Senegal also has common problems, not a common problem, because when you say a common, you don't put S. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Senegal also has common mm -hmm. problems like the five countries, but originally Senegal was not a member of G5. Of G5. Ah, okay. Yes. So now let us talk about what were you discussing during the meeting? Um, during the meeting, the six, the six rep, uh, representatives. Okay, the six representative of of uh, platform of women platform had to to plan their activities for the years for the year okay. this year. Oh, uh, but it is already in April. You plan for two thousand. Yes. Huh. She was. Uh, they were. They were. They. They were. Uh, a little later. Late. Late. They were late. Oh, Africa! I they, love. I love Africa because we are always late. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They were late. And they need the uh, they need the help to to do this plan to, to write plan. this plan, to plan okay. not plan please plan, plan. Is avion avion plan good so okay, plan for planification good in English planification is planning planning for their planning so what help do they need what aid do they need to do to carry out their planning, financial, technical, human. Technical, technical help. And who is to provide that help? Who should provide that help? Uh, G5, G5 Sahel can recruit consultants. Con consultants. Consultants. Good consult or everything in French that you pronounce you in English is all mm -hmm. consultants consult. Okay. So now, oh, yes. so the meeting was it physical or virtual? Physical. So people came from Chad. How many people? One woman came from Chad. One woman for, for, uh, from Chad, one from Mali, one from Niger, one from Burkina Faso, and two uh, from Mauritania. So, and you were there. So finally, how many women were there? Was, were, were there only six women or more? No, no. There, there was six women plus a staff. A staff, a staff of uh, governance departments mm. from G5 from G5 Sahel and yes. me. Okay, so you cannot say okay. there was six women. Women, you said there is what there, there was is, one woman, or there were there were there were six six women. Women plus the staff. The staff of uh, governance uh, governance departments. Yes, and I was a representative of SDCC. Okay, so the meeting did not directly concern your department. No, the but, meeting. Mm -hmm. the, the meeting is not directly uh, concern my department. But mm -hmm. in our project, we have uh, in the third com component mm -hmm. some activities with those women, those women, mm -hmm. and this, and they want we be present to to understand what they do. Okay. Okay, so and, and see why why we can help we can we can help there to ameliorate 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 not to improve uh, 
improve or to ameliorate? Improve, to ameliorate, okay, to ameliorate their planning. Okay. So the meeting, when did it begin and when did it end? Uh, oh, Mrs. Gomibe, when was it? When was it? You are speaking English, think in English. I, I, I speak to myself. Very <laughs> <laughs> soon you speak to yourself in Gavai. I'm telling you. <laughs> it began. It began Monday. It began, it began on Monday. Monday. Yes. And then ended. Ended. Ended Wednesday. Wednesday Good. evening. So when you are using, when you are using days, les jours, mm. you must say it began on. It's bega it began on Monday and, and ended, ended on, on Wednesday. On Wednesday. On Wednesday, Wednesday evening. Okay. Was there, was there a party at the end of the meeting? Was there a party? Yes, well, to celebrate that we, the meeting is finished. We have planned. Ah, a party? No. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so who paid, who paid, who paid the bill? Who paid the bill for the meeting? Because you had people coming from other countries. Who paid? G5 Sahel. Okay, so G5 Sahel has a budget for governor's department. And inside the budget, you have a budget for planning meetings where delegates come from the other countries. We have, uh, the governor's department have budget for uh, help, mm -hmm. women, women platforms. Okay, to help women's platform. And inside, inside this this uh, link, mm -hmm. they can uh, they can plan meeting, mm -hmm. pay uh, pay. Yeah. Flights. Pay uh, for flight. pay for flights. Pay flight for flights. Woman. For flights. Yes. What else do they pay for? Lodging, because those women will not sleep in the road uh, on the road. Lodging. No. Okay, lodging. Yeah. Pay for feeding. In hotel. Feeding. Feeding. Transportation, lodging, feeding, transportation, and and, co and communi communication. No, that's not all now, Mrs. Gumibe. Communication and allowances. That is what we want to hear. Allowances. Allowances is per diem. The per diem allowances is used for communication, transportation, feeding. Okay. So th there is a fixed amount. And, and, and lodging. Mm. So when you come, they give you your money. You go and lodge. Okay. You feed yourself. You mm -hmm. buy your communication. You transport mm -hmm. yourself. Okay. Yes. So the executive director of G5 Sahel is also in uh, Nwakchot? Yes. Okay. And then now in Nwakchot or Mauritania, you have the executive office and mm -hmm. then you also have the country office. For G5 Sahel? Yes, yeah, the country office for Mauritania. They have a country no, no. office. For G5 Sahel, we have just uh, executive secretary, executive secretary of G5 Sahel, just the office. Yes. 
it's a and in okay in in each in each country mm -hmm. we have coordination national coordination yes of g5 sahel that is what i'm saying national coordination has an office yes but it's just a, it's just a small office with how many staff just three, three, three or four persons. Okay, people, three or four people. People, so always people. use yes, always use people when it is the plural. It's better. Okay. okay. Three or four people, and then please look at the what I just put on the on the chat window. Just, just uh -huh. plus verb. So you don't say we have just. No, we just we have. Just have. Good. Okay. And then there is something called outstation allowance. Outstation allowance means that you are on mission. For example, the woman who came from Chad came to uh, Nwakchot, so she is not in her station. Mm -hmm. So she, she, she has to benefit from outstation allowance. Mm -hmm. Good. So thanks very much for that. So apart from the meeting, which means that Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you were occupied with that meeting. Yes. Good weather. Okay. And then uh, Thursday, yesterday, and today. Thursday, all of my time, <laughs> I have to repeat. <laughs> <laughs> to repeat the test yes uh, the test the english english test uh -huh. for today <laughs> and this morning i have uh, this morning i finished my my report of three days meeting okay and now i am with you so I finished, always remember that you write a report. I finished writing, writing my report. My report on the planning meeting. Okay. So it doesn't mean that everybody who attended the meeting must write a report? No. Uh, I I do that because I'm the I am alone in our project. Mm. Who? Uh, which? 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 No, no. Je suis non. Je suis la seule qui était présente. Yes, I am the only person on my person of my project who was present, who attended the meeting. I am the only person who attended the meeting, who attended Kia participa la reunion, who attended the meeting. Are you seeing it? Who attended? Okay. I was I was the only person who attended the meeting. From my and department. I have to, or not on my department, but on my project. Okay, good. Of your project, which is SD3C. C. Uh, I love that name. <laughs> good. So you had a very busy week. Did you speak during the pro uh, during the meeting? Yes. What was your own contribution? Tell me a bit about it. I, I had just do a presentation of my project. No, I just presented my project. I just, has just do. I just presented my project. I just presented my project. Okay. And and the opportunity for our collaboration with with this group of women. Okay. Thank you very much. 
Now, let us go to our business for today. <laughs> Please, before we it's continue, okay. look at it. Huh? Before we continue, I want you to understand why it is indispensable for you not only to pronounce the words well in English, like development. <laughs> you forgot my team, Mrs. Govinda. You forgot my team. When you forget, uh, go to Mundu and come back when you remember. You come back and say, Mr. Ning, and you go, Chee. Okay. <laughs> because we want you to pronounce the words correctly. I told you at the beginning that we have a problem. The, the, the main problem you have as a Francophone is that when you were born, all the words you know are pronounced in French. Yes. That same it's word is easy. That same word is uh, spelled the same, like in French. But mm -hmm. the pronunciation is different. Different. Yesterday you started the the, the, the development development development. No, <laughs> we corrected it, and then you forgot T, which is t. so it's development. You don't pronounce development. 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 development, not development. 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 And there are many other things, words that you were not pronouncing like in, not n. In French, it is I N. N and security. In English, is in security. Insecurity. That that, that word is good. Well, that word is not C. It is C. You see S E. Insecurity. Not pure insecure, security. <laughs> security. Insecurity. Good. Insecurity. Insecurity. Not say. No, not Insecurity. Good. Like this. Let me write it in my own. Look at the way I write it. Look at it. Read it now. Insecurity. 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 But you remember Develop development. Development. In French, you don't pronounce T at the end. No. Development. T S. Good S T. Yes. Like uh, yesterday, I had Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Sekpe, who is in charge for Care International. She was like. Standard, but what she is reading there is what in English is standards. Standards. Good. Standards. At the end of the word, you must pronounce G, you must pronounce S, you must pronounce G, etc. Good. The next thing, Mrs. Gomibe, uh, is that the way you read a text in French is different from the way you read a text in English. Mm -hmm. And our objective is that by July, August, September, when you go for a conference and they give, you have to present a paper, you should not uh, be afraid. And you should present it like an anglophone. I told you that French is flat, flat. As they, mm -hmm. as they was say, Est un projet qui vise à. In English, you will not say that. You have to go up down. SD3C is a project that aims at. You see that it is. So it, in English, you, you pronounce a group of words non stop. You pause. You take the other group, you pause. You take the other group, you pause. And if we continue with this activity, you will discover that when they speak on television, you understand. So don't worry. I know it was very painful yesterday. Uh, <laughs> it was very difficult. Uh, but you see the results this morning. So what I will do now is I will share my screen and I will put on the text. The text, let me first. Uh, set it on my screen. I'll put the text and you will read it 
correctly? Good. I'm seeing it here by 50%. Let me take it up to 100%. Good. You read it professionally. Uh, as they say in French, et puis on passe sur ça. <laughs> then we advance. <laughs> okay. Good. So can you see the text? Yes. Good. So. I can start? Yeah, no, always begin your question with the uh, the pre, uh, the auxiliary. Can I start? Yes. Can I can I start? <laughs> okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. sure. SD three C presentation. Oh, yes. Not... Don't worry about that. Go down to the parag first paragraph. Okay. The the G five Sahel is a model of South South cooperation that reflects the political will and unity of the Wait, government please. state. Listen, huh? listen. When you come to that, that reflects, you don't pause. That reflects the political will and unity of the member states. Good, let's go. Start again. The, G the G5 Sahel is a model of South-South cooperation that reflect the political will and unity of the member states in the face of sustainable development challenges in the Sahel. Good, but you pause at sustainable before development, no. Uh, and <laughs> in the face, look at it, in the face of sustainable development challenges in the Sahel. Yes, in the face yes, of sustainable yes. development challenges in the Sahel. Let's go. It will come. The G5, the G5 Sahel is a model of South-South cooperation that reflects the political will and unity of the member states in the face of sustainable development challenges in the Sahel. Good. Excellent. I'm happy. Yes. In a Sahelian context where the effects of climate change are being severely felt, the advent of COVID-19 is slowing down productivity in our production systems and their contribution to the economic growth and improvement of living conditions. It's coming. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> the SD3C led by the G5 Sahel plus Senegal in partnership with the three UN agencies in Rome, FEU, WFP, FIDA, aims to contribute to the implementation of the V5 Sahel strategy for development and secure security SDS at the request of the governments of the six countries, namely Burkina Faso, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Senegal, and Chad. Wow, go. Oh. These programs which focus focuses on resilience will help to concretize the role of G5 Sahel in its desire to be involved in its development of the Sahel. Okay, let me, take regional, it up. let me take it up so that go, go, go the regional, yes. Can you see up? Yes. Okay. The regional nature of the SD program is justified by the common and cross-border problems of the six Saharian countries concerned, which are largely confronted with insecure, insecurity, the negative impact of climate change, and the recent COVID-19 health crisis. Wow, yes. Specifically, the program aims to strengthen the livelihoods of small-scale producers. There you, you, you stop at strength, no. Specifically, you pause, the program, the program aims to strengthen the livelihoods of small-scale producers. Are you seeing it? The livelihood, so you don't pause after strengthen. Take it again. Specifically, the program aims to strengthen the livelihoods of small-scale producers Good. particularly women and youth living in cross-border areas. Wow, yes. 
it will also impact the institutional capacity of the G5 Sahel for inclusive political and social dialogue for peace and security, security, security with the active involvement of producer organization in the leading role in one, the prevention and management. No, 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 you, you pause there for nothing. The prevention and management of conflicts between farmers and herders in transhumanist corridors. Yes. One, the prevention and management of conf conflict between farmers and herders in transhumanist corridors. Two, the identification and management of cross-border economic infrastructure. Three, the promotion of good practices, preventive measures against COVID-19 and highly endemic infection. And four, the implementation of protectionist custom measures to promote the consumption of local products. products. Finally, the implementation of the program will help will help develop and promote the use of digital financial services with the objectives of securing border transactions. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. Please, that is the tempo. They call it tempo in English because it makes you speak like an anglophone and the anglophone will understand you better than if you read like a francophone. But I have a problem with this word, Mrs. Ngomibe, measures. Me, measures. Me, like me, just, me, measures. Measures. Good, me, measures. measures. Then consumption, me, consumption. Hmm? Look at number four. Consumption, okay. Good, look at number four. The implementation of protectionist customs. Custom. You, most of the Means. time here in this text, you forgot to pronounce S. The custom. implements, good, you don't, you don't pause at customs. The implementation of protectionist customs measures to promote the consumption of local products. Yes? The implementation of protectionist customs measures to promote the consumption of local products. You will only pronounce me consumption in consumption. English. Consumption. Consumption. Zum, zum, not zum. Consumption. Okay. Consumption. Consum consumptions. Good. Consumption. Good. So, implementation. Good. Don't worry. Thank you very much. I'm happy that okay. we, we look at it. I'm happy that we have gone to a different level now. It's not only pronunciation, but intonation. Okay. Good. Which means that uh, this, after this, our session, I will have to redefine your program for April. But remember the, uh, the book, the Bible, as we call it, at, uh, the Evo, those that big book. Please continue with it. Mm -hmm. Continue doing those exercises mm -hmm. and try to accelerate your space. You can say, okay, every day when I go back to the house, I can have one hour to do two or three exercises in one of to finish two pages. Two pages is. Uh, a, a lesson, please, because they are very. That is very important. So if you that will do that, and then we will change the text and the audio. The audio you will be using now will be British English, BBC. No, no problem. And you will be having every week four pages to read aloud like they say like they they, uh, they do in the audio so don't worry it's it is easy and i know uh your there are many people who have done it who were uh worse than you 
in pronunciation and intonation, but they have done it and it has changed the way they speak, even the way they speak. Good. Thank you very much. Le, our topic today is what is SD3C and what are the changes it wants to implement? So tell me a bit about SD3C. SD3C, SD3C is a project, a program which led by G5 Sahel in partnership with three agencies, two agencies from Rome. They, this, this program is is a regional 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 program mm -hmm. and it's just justified by the common the common on cross border problems of six Saharan countries namely namely uh, Burkina Faso Mali Niger Mauritania Chad and Senegal. SD twice SD three C. Uh, SD three C have six six country staff, six countries staff, and regional staff which coordinates activi activities. Okay. So my question is this, why, what did those who planned the project, what was their main objective? What did they see that was not correct and wanted to correct? in these five, six countries? This six country was, so we're, we're in Sahel and this, the, region, the region of Sahel is confronted with climate change with effects of climate change, uh, conflicts, conflicts, and uh, the effects of COVID-19. So peoples on those six countries have difficulties, difficulties to, to to yes to work to work in agriculture agriculture agri agriculture and livestock livestock breeding okay livestock breeding okay and they need help to implement her work, their work, work. It's why. G5 that is why. Sahel, that is why. That, that is, is why. That is why G5 Sahel and Senegal asked asked uh, the three agencies, three agencies, uh, the three UN agencies, to help them to improve this project and emotion party. Yes, to, in, to implement the project, to, to help them implement, to implement the project. Is that what, yes? It is to, to implement, implement the, 
Yes, to implement the project. To implement the, the project and concretize the role of G5 Sahel to, uh, to its desire, it desire to involve the developments in Sahel, in Sahel region. Good. Thank you very much. So what you mean is that the problems that the uh, farmers in the in chat are facing are similar to the problems that the farmers in Mauritania are facing. Those in Niger are facing. Those in Burkina Faso are facing. Those is that true? The matter of problems is the same. Okay. In, in most cases, this is what you are supposed to say, in most cases, in most cases, the problems, the problems are similar. Are similar, yes. In most cases, the problems are similar. Okay. Are similar. Good. For the, I forgot to put the problems, problems. I just said the are similar, no, problems are similar. Okay. Now, concretely, what is the problem that a farmer may be in Mauritania faces? Mm. Or in, yes, what problem does a farmer? We know that a farmer goes to his farm, he digs, plants, comes back, goes after some weeks or months, he weeds the farm, cleans the farm, and after he goes and harvests his crops. So what problem do they if face? You take, if you take uh, Chad, Niger, mm -hmm. the, the six countries, if you, if you take the six countries, the effects of cl climate change now is uh, if you take 30 or 40 years Back. Ago, yes. Back then, yeah. the the rainy season, rainy season, rainy season, rain yes. Season, it was uh, longer, longer. Okay. But now you just have three or four months. Okay. And the seed, the seed which farmers use in the past was aware of the seed of longest who had who have a longer cycle. Okay, the seeds which had a longer cycle. Which okay. had a longer cycle. Mm -hmm. And now, if you if you use the same seeds. And you have just three or four months rent. Mm -hmm. You don't have uh, good production. Okay. You have to adapt the seeds who have which, which have short which have short duration. Yeah. And in our countries, we don't have um, la recherche, the research. Yes, research. Research products who can, uh, which can help producer to to have to have uh, the new it's seeds. Mm -hmm. mm. Which adapt, which adapt of climate change. Which adapt to adapt to climate change. Okay. But, uh, farmers farmers need also the technical assistance. Uh -huh. Yeah, assistance to 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 learn 
the new methods which can help them to, to work in short time and have production. Good results. Pardon? Good results to, to obtain good results in a short time. Yes. Obtain good results in a shorter a shorter time. A shorter than, time. Than in the past. Uh -huh. Yes. You have explained it clearly, yes. And also, if now we, we say that they have conflicts between farmers and herders, it's because eff effect of climate change do that. Also affect breeders, herders. Yes, because they they cannot they they cannot have uh, grass, 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 hmm? grass, lizard. They cannot have grass and many waters. And water. And water. Okay. And they and they have to to leave their locality mm -hmm. to go where they can fight and they can have grass and water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then when yeah. yes. Then when when they 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 do this this movement, mm -hmm. they can found in in their route the fields yes fields farmers fields field, farmers fields that their animals will destroy destroyed and the conflict the conflict began thank you very much mrs ngomibi i'm so happy that you have made it clear why that, that's, I didn't understand what you meant by climate change. Now, climate change affects farmers because the cycle of the, the duration of the rainy season is shorter now than before. Than before. But the crops that farmers used before, the seeds, mm -hmm need a longer cycle so when the farmer still uses the old seeds now his harvest so his harvest harvest means la recolte his harvest is smaller or sometimes he doesn't even harvest nothing yes. so due to climate change what he needs, the farmers need now, are two things. One, modified seeds to adapt, yes. to, adapt to the current situation. Mm -hmm. And then, or the current, let us say the current climatic situation. The current climatic situation means yes. it's good. And then two, if you even give him the seeds, he will not know how to use them. So he, this, this. he needs training. Yeah. Mm. He needs training how to use the seeds. Mm -hmm. What time the seeds the seed can take mm -hmm. to, to, to give us. Yes. Okay. So he needs training and follow up. Follow up meaning? CD, no CD. CD.
Hello. Hello. Next program. No problems. I just try to know if uh, the link.
Hello, Mrs. Ngomi Bay. We just, the, the connection just disappeared. What is happening? Let me know. I am still online waiting for us to finish. Thank you.